differential equations, and of course we just did now with the exponential ones. Uh, we're all, a, a differential equation is one that contains a derivative, right? Differential equation is an equation that contains a derivative. We're only going to do uh, simple ones where it's dy dx equals something, all right? <laughs> If you take a course on differential equations at university, it will be, you know, a lot more complicated than that, where you have not just a derivative equals some stuff over here, right? It'll be much more, uh, you know, 3x times dy dx plus, you know, some other stuff where it's not just, where this is not just all by itself on one side like this. Especially here for, uh, especially here for looking at slope fields. A slope field is a, a picture of what the solution curves might look like for what we're, what we're looking at here. When you're given a differential equation, you're not given what the actual function is. All right? This is, this is a differential equation. The solution to this is y equals something or other, right? I know for some of the ones we've looked at, you can solve them pretty easily, right? Yeah, I mean, we're starting with one that doesn't have any y's over here and one that we can solve algebraically. But then we're going to look at how we can draw a picture without actually solving it. And the goal of that is when we have ones we can't solve, we can still draw a picture of what the curves might look like. Okay, so first let's do what we already know how to do, which is over here. Review of what you did last day. Um, you can solve that, right? You can make it dy equals x minus 1 dx. You can integrate both sides. And you can come up with something like y equals, what is it, a half minus x plus some constant, right? So what, is that, what does that look like? Some, yeah, it's, it's, it's a parabola, right? You could, you could do all kinds of algebra and complete the square and everything, but I'm assuming that you can, you can graph it somehow on here or on your calculator or whatever. What is it? Uh, let's pause for a second here while we're... Well, before I, put, before I put the capital C in here, I have to make it exist, right? <laughs> so is that right? Half times x squared? Okay. Okay, so this is uh, this is the c value here. If uh, if you're looking at what it is, it's you know that's just a vertical shift on the thing, right? No. This is all this uh, this is all the curves. Well, it's not all of them. It's the ones that I put in. I only have c going from negative five to positive five, but you could of course extend that. So it's curves that it's curves that uh, look like that. It's parabolas that um, have their vertex at one and. Some, hor some vertical coordinate based on whatever that c value is. But they're all parabolas. If you had to draw them all, it would be kind of a family of parabolas all nested together, right? Um, if you, now, you don't need to have slope fields when you can solve it like this. A slope field is just trying to draw a picture of what it looks like without doing this. Because you, you can draw little lines on here based on what this says. This says that the slope, okay, so this is, the slope fields are not hard to do, they're just tedious to do if you're doing them by hand. So if you were really doing something where you needed to use slope fields, you would probably just get a computer to do it, or your calculator, or whatever. Um, this says that the derivative is one less than the x value. So you can just draw short little lines at at, we're going to use these points at every kind of grid point on there to show what the slope of the curve would look like. As in, let's start with some easy numbers here. Like this is where x is, uh, should, we, should we start with this one? Every one of those points, the x value is how much? Every, every one here, the x value is 1. So that means that the slope is 1 minus 1, so it's 0. So what you could do is put a short little line here that says, at every one of those places, the curves will have slopes of zero, right? What about at this point here? What? They're, all of them are going to have, because the, the x coordinate there is 2, so the slopes there are going to be 1. So I'm just going to estimate based on this, right? I'm going to look at that slope. 
but I'm really only going to draw this. If I had a ruler on here, I would hold the ruler against that point to get it approximately right. I realize to you it might just look like I'm drawing random lines, but I'm trying to draw them so that they look like they have a slope of 1, as in through that point each time, right? Okay. What about this one? Here's zero. That's going to be, what is that going to be? Negative one, right? Because you got zero minus one. You're just using the coordinates of the points to find what's going on here. So I'm going to try and draw those so they're negative one. If you have a ruler, if you were really doing this, you should probably draw it somewhat accurately. This is tedious, isn't it? What is it going to be here? I'm sure you can follow the pattern. What's it going to be there? Two, Two right? This is going to be 3 here, this is going to be negative 2 here, and uh, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. We will pause while the tediousness happens here. I, I want you to realize, though, that uh, the, the point of this is not to find the solution in this particular case because we already know what the solution looks like because we can come up with the solution and graph it and uh, and do those things. Is this about this? Yes. What is it? What are, what are you saying? Okay. So on the other side, are you doing the absolute value? Are you doing the absolute? This? It's negative one. No, you're not doing the absolute value. Okay. So what? It's okay. just I'm just subtracting one from the x coordinate. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to draw a uh, a curve here. I hope. Make it red. Oh, that's a bad idea. Let's go back to this. From this, if you kind of get the idea here, remember you followed the pattern here, and the farther you went this way, the more steeply the slope got, right? So if you followed this curve like this, um, if you followed one of the curves starting where it's zero, this would kind of go like this, right? Something like that. I'm just roughly you know, approximating it here. It would look something like that, would it not? And the other way, it would kind of follow those lines this way. This picture gives you the idea that the solutions look like they're parabolas, even though you don't even have to do this to figure that out. Don't get hung up on the fact that it was tedious to draw this and it was quicker for us to do this. The reason that you probably would draw a slope field is if you had one you can't solve simply like this, algebraically, but you can get an idea of what the solutions look like by looking at a slope field. Plus, this gives you a sense of whether you've done this right or not because it, you can see from there what the curve should look like. All right? You can tell from that that the curve should be parabolas. You might have uh, on your... You probably don't have this program on your calculator. There is a... Uh, not on that calculator, on the other one. Um... Let's uh, get rid of this first, clear. There is a program. There's probably lots of them. This one happens to be called Slope Field. The, if you run this Slope Field program, wherever I got this, if you put in for that first one, it was x minus 1, right? Wasn't it? And then you hit, um, then you hit Enter. It uh, now it does it based on the window that you had, so you want to set the window first. So this is a very uninteresting window, right? Because remember what the window was. <laughs> yeah, so this is crazy. So let's go back to. I have this feeling I have to go back and uh, I'm going to do a zoom decimal. You have to go back and run it after the window's set. I'm actually going to since I realize that it's going to be there. I'm going to start from negative 3.7 and go up to 5.7. Okay. Um, now we're going to run that again. Program should have just gone the other way. X minus one. This is a pretty limited program because it won't even let you do them when they're y equals. But this shows you what it is. It it does all it does is it it divides up your window into I think nine or ten ten segments. And it draws lines. You notice it didn't draw one at uh, this point right here. It's just divide. It's it's dividing them up into ten segments. So you'd have to pick your window if you wanted them at certain places. But still, you can see that they are 
parabolas, right? That they're gonna that they're gonna level out there. Um, this doesn't let you put in things like this where there's a Y involved, so it's, it doesn't do a whole lot. I don't know if there's other things in there that do. I have this feeling that they don't, but you can draw a slope field for this just as easily as you could for the previous one. This says that the slope is 1 divided by whatever the Y coordinate is. I'm going to stop this so we don't uh, go over 10 minutes. And then can you try and draw a slope field for that if you want to limit it?